happening here? This is ridiculous. What's going on? Hey Avatar fans, we're back. This is Third Street Reactions. I'm Tom. Shane. And we are back with Avatar Season 3, Episode 5. Shane, last time, uh, Iroh, my favorite character, arguably, on the show. Yeah. He's still in prison, but he's cooking up a little, little bit of a plan. Yeah, he's acting like this kind of crazy lost, you know, like he lost his mind. He's like a rabbit eating his food, like off the ground like that. Uh, but he's training like a badass. He's, he's like doing upside-down <laughs> upside uh, sit-ups. So he, he's hatching a plan. And we also had one of my favorite episodes uh, for Sokka. Yeah, I, Sokka's a great character. It was nice to see Sokka get his moment to get trained personally by a master who is with the Fire Nation. Yeah. And come to find out, he knew all along that Sokka was with the Water Tribe and it didn't matter to him. It's because he's a man of culture and he understood culture enough to know, well, that's not a Fire Nation name. It sounds like a Water Tribe name. Yeah. Guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, uh, check out our merch. Check out the Ahsoka Show and all the other Star Wars yeah. content. Uh, obviously, you see that we are washing currently our tablecloth so enjoy the star wars uh a comforter quilt that i grew up with and uh you can also leave a comment down below check us out on patreon we're gonna jump in is a waste of time. we're being sent away on a forced vacation i feel like a child Brighten up. so dad wants to meet with his advisors alone welcome, welcome to, to ember island, island kids <sighs> we're just letting all these guys, you know, I guess it's it not all like old lady in here. Gee, I wonder why. Who are these two beautiful women? Can't you tell? It's me no. and me. Uh huh. Ooh, I love the seashell bed spread. I love this the music. The beach has a special way of smoothing even the most ragged edges. Oh my... Gus. What if someone sees you? There are walls all around us. It's completely safe. I hate these guys. <laughs> you know? Hey, you need some help unpacking? Sure. Thanks. This is for you. Why would I want that? I saw it in the girls' tree. No girls like stuff like this. Maybe stupid girls. Forget it! I don't think that's... <laughs> That's kind of stupid, I think. Only stupid girls like pretty things. I thought since it's so hot. Here. Thanks. This is really refreshing. <laughs> you let these teenagers come here without supervision? Ty Lee, get over here now! Is it just like, yeah, for this yes. episode? We defeated you for all time. You will never rise from the ashes of your shame and humiliation. I'm having a party tonight. You should come by. Sure, I love parties. Your friend can come too. What about me and my brother? Aren't you going to invite us? Just so you know, though, some of the most important teenagers in the Fire Nation are going to be at this party, so try and act normal. We'll do our best. But for once, I just wanted to see how people would treat us if they didn't know who we were.
Thank God. Right? Maybe not. Oh, I guess if he's working directly for Zuko, he wouldn't want that to get out. Um, you're a little early. No one's here yet. I heard you telling someone you'd be partying from dusk till dawn. It's dusk, so we're here. But that's just an expression. Listen, my dad's an admiral. He has no idea I'm having this party, so don't mess anything up. Hey, first one's here, huh? He thinks he's so great. Well... So how do you know Ty Lee? I met her at the beach today. Well... I met first, because I like you all. But which one of us do you like? Yeah, tell us. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Those boys won't leave me alone. I guess they all just like me too much. Come on, Ty Lee. You can't be this ignorant. Those boys only like you because you make it so easy for them. You're not a challenge. You're a tease. It's not like they actually care who you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Because I was a little... They're just intimidated by you. Okay, look, if you want a boy to like you, just look at him and smile a lot and laugh at everything he says, even if it's not funny. Well, that sounds really shallow and stupid. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm bored. I know. I'm hungry. So what? So, find me some food. Sure. This is ridiculous. What's going on? I'm ready for a tour of the house. Is this your first time on Ember Island? No. I used to come here years ago. It's a great place. If you like sand. <laughs> yeah, it's like, welcome to Sandy Land. <laughs> <laughs> Your arms look so strong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's home wire after. Oh, damn. You and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the Earth! I gotta go. He's, he actually probably doesn't always see blue fire either. It's like a hotter fire right now. What are you doing? Stop talking to my girlfriend. Relax. It's just a party. Your temper is out of control. You blow up over every little thing. You're so impatient and hot-headed and angry. You have no passion for anything. You're just a big blah. It's over, Zuko. We're done. You're out of here. I was just leaving. Have fun by yourself, loser boy. Yeah, he's hard ass. Jeez. Those summers we spent here seem so long ago. So much has changed. Come on. Let's get you guys out of here. Where's your new boyfriend? Are you cold? This is crazy! How can we meet a guy who blows things up with his mind? We can't. Jump on Appa. I'll try to distract him. Dude, that's crazy. I love man. that crap sound. That's sweet. <laughs> 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 
This guy is such a hard ass right here, dude. I'm okay. Still gonna get your ass. I don't think so. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? But it's a painting of your family. You think I care? I think you do. You don't know me, so why don't you just mind your own business? I know you. No, you don't. You're stuck in your little Ty Lee world where everything's great all the time. Zuko, leave her alone. Circus freak. Yes, I'm a circus freak. Go ahead and laugh all you want. You want to know why I joined the circus? I joined the circus because I was scared of spending the rest of my life as part of a matched set. At least I'm different now. Circus freak is a compliment. Yes, that explains why you need ten boyfriends, too. Attention issues? You couldn't get enough attention when you were a kid, so you're trying to make up for it now. Well, what's your excuse, May? What do you want from me? You want a teary confession about how hard my childhood was? I was a rich only child who got anything I wanted. As long as I behaved. Well, that's it then. You had a controlling mother who had certain expectations, and if you strayed from them, you were shut down. And why you can't express yourself. You want me to express myself? Leave me alone! I like it when you express yourself. <laughs> Don't touch me! I'm still mad at you. At skin? Normal teenagers worry about bad skin. I don't have that luxury. My father decided to teach me a permanent lesson on my face. For so long I thought that if my dad accepted me, I'd be happy. I'm back home now. My dad talks to me. <laughs> he even thinks I'm a hero. Everything should be perfect, right? I should be happy now. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm angrier than ever and I don't know why. Who are you angry at, Zuko? Everyone! Who are you angry at? Answer the question, Zuko. Talk to us. Answer the question on, answer it. I'm angry at myself! Why? Because I'm confused. Because I'm not sure I know the difference between right and wrong anymore. You're pathetic. <laughs> I know one thing I care about. I guess you wouldn't understand, would you, Azula? Because you're just so perfect. Well, yes, I guess you're right. I don't have sob stories like all of you. My own mother thought I was a monster. Worry? She was right, well. of course, but it still hurt. Now, what would make this trip really memorable? We've got some bad news, Chan. Party's over. Ah! <laughs> you said this episode's ridiculous. There's a lot of things I like about it, but it, it, it's so weird that they're. I liked it. No, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it too, but it's kind of ridiculous in a way to where we have these, I mean, these are definitely, we're dealing with, like, the top people in the Fire Nation, and we're dealing with this ragtag group, and they were raised differently than all these other kids. So they're just, like, vacationing in the middle of war, and, but what's interesting is because they are, they're from royalty, they probably, it, most of the, most of the instances when I see that type of thing, it's not like Princess Jasmine who they don't know how real society is and how real people really have to live. Right. Most of the time they're highly educated and they're talking to adults and they have the best tutors and teachers and they can communicate and they play with other rich people's kids and you know what I'm saying? So um, the fact that she was like, you know, obviously Azula, I know it's supposed to be funny, but like she was so clueless socially what to do. I mean, she is like, She's drawn to be like this gorgeous girl. Yeah. She's, she can talk and she can lead and she's powerful. She's definitely crazy and intimidating and, you know, it's probably because you know of this childhood trauma. But, I, it's one of those things when I'm watching it again, and probably when I watched it a few years ago, I was like, okay, would she really be that ignorant on how to talk to other kids? I don't think so. Now, I mean, some of the stuff on the beach when they're on the campfire, I mean, that was this show's version of, of, a, of like, a deep conversation. I liked it. I liked that part a lot. It was almost like the breakfast club. Like, they're all sitting there grieving their problems, like Joe did to God, like, yelling it out. And, right. But a part of me thinks, I mean, it's the same thing when I watch um, BoJack. A, a lot of people grow up with problems, but they also are better than 99.999% of everyone in the entire world at that time. 
Now, Azula, it, it wasn't trying to redeem her, but I think with... We all know what's wrong with Zuko. Yeah. Um, Ty Lee, I mean... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it, to me, it was kind of teenage angst. Like, she had a bunch of identical twins, and she didn't get individual... Too much individual time with her parents, but Boo she's hill. also like, Boo hill. yeah, you know, she's also really pretty and gets all this attention. And you can say that she craves this attention because of this, because of that. But you know, there are some people who are, they just wish they had attention like that. Right. I, I mean, I'm friends with, especially when I was younger. Um, you know, I was friends with girls that like were borderline suicidal and suicidal because guys ignored them. Now I don't think they should put so much importance into that, but they did. Yeah, the elephant in the room is. That bounty hunter, guy. big jacked guy with a jag, you know, with a strong jawline, yeah, shooting things out of his eye. It's, it's crazy. So, do, what, what bender ability do you think that? Do you think that is? I'd say it would have to be something between air, fire, maybe even a little bit of earth. Yeah, we'll see. Um, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, pretty good episode. Yeah, definitely memorable. Um, the one that I actually, I thought there was something else, and maybe it's further down the line. I definitely remember this, but there's other parts, the other things I'm remembering about this show that must come later. Anyways, guys, uh, if you don't want to wait till next week to watch the episode, just check us out on Patreon. We have the next four on there. We're out of here.